What's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research here. This is a Honda Hobbit Hot Rod PA52 upgrade. Video number 10 or 11. I'll post the uh, number right across my face. Right there. Anyway, got something really fun to show you today. So, my tires. They're only rated for 30 mile an hour. They're two ply. They're nylon. They're junk. They're from 1983. It's starting to dry rot. So I had to buy some tires, and uh, again, I found out that people actually race these little mopeds, and so you can buy all sorts of fun stuff for them. So I got tires, but not only tires, white wall tires. White wall tires, they say, look at me, here I am, love me. Yes, check out that, treads nice for what I'm going to be doing which is lots of cornering and such it doesn't really rain out here um, I don't know these are two and a quarter by 17 2.25 by 17 I don't even can pronounce the name on these things S A U A K R A N maybe no K R A U yeah I don't know I really can't read those letters, they're kind of funky. What else is on there? Um, directional. These are MC11s. If you look them up, you'll find them. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about this because I feel very unsafe about riding on my other tires. They're not rated for the things that I'm doing with it. I also have another fun thing, but it won't be here until today, so you'll see it somewhere in this video. I have a box arriving today. One last upgrade that I'm going to do to my moped and see what we can get out of this thing. So I did have tires and also cheap Chinese inner tubes I'm sure. Nothing wrong with that as long as they work. Actually I don't know them made in China. See? Yeah. See? Wasn't lying. And then I did buy the uh, the inserts so that the uh, spokes don't dig into the um, inner tube. It's a good idea. So let's get started. I'm going to be doing this today off and on and uh, I don't know how much footage I'm going to record as processes go on but this may just go flash and it's done. I don't know. Alright, well let's get started. It's back here by the way. Right now, let's get a good, uh, I need to get a good picture to get a comparison picture. But right now I've just got the, you know, standard generic tires on. These are the ones that came on it originally. So, alright, let's get started. Dexter, say hi. Hi. Good job. All right, so front tire's off. Um, the front brakes look uh, fairly good, actually. I didn't actually measure them with the calipers. Come on, focus already. I swear I have, like, a focus problem. All right. So, uh... There you go. Brakes pads look really good actually. Um, I did loosen this and tighten it so it's a little bit tighter, it's a little wobbly from left to right. So you could grab it like this and kind of wobble it just a little. Speedo cable attachment which I don't use. Um, a few odds and ends. Here's what the inside of the hub looks like. It's pretty nice. I don't know where I was, I got interrupted. So anyway, this is the tire. Um, this is what the inside of this looks like, where the brakes ride. It looks really nice. I didn't measure it. I'm not too concerned. I can't replace it anyway. Um, here you can see what the uh, bearings look like. Um, the shaft here is slightly bent, but because it's stationary, I'm not too concerned. I tapped it with a hammer and kind of straightened it a little. Um, the bearings look like they're probably standard bearings, but I can't get these off because I don't have the wrench that fits on the edges here. So I might play with it some more and try to get it, but it doesn't sound the greatest, so I'm going to try to pump some grease in there. 
So in case you're curious, this is what the tire information is right now. Max speed, 30 miles an hour. These are Ching Shin tires. Nylon. Uh, the dot number. These are nylon two ply tube type. So that's currently the situation I got. So we're gonna try to get this bearing apart so I can pump some grease in there and check it. It feels okay, it's just dry, I think. So we'll see. Alright, so I could not uh find a wrench that fits in here into this tiny slot so I made one it worked out really well got that broken loose so take it apart oh yeah see just loosen it up a fraction made it better so we'll oil it up grease it up I mean check it make sure it's all good put it back together alright boys and girls so these are a standard bicycle wheel type bearing so the bearing float free in here <clears throat> they ride on a housing on a race and there's your inner race so it's pretty sketchy for the speeds I'm running but hey I'll take these apart I'll clean them really well and put them back together we'll be just fine alright guys so I had to get the bearings out of here without losing them so just to show you a little trick little magnet sucked them all right out of there now I can throw them in the washer, washing bin and put them back in there when we're done these look really good. Um, surprised how nice they still look as far as how much grease is still in there. So probably didn't have to take these apart, but it's always good to repack bearings if you're this far apart. Alright guys, boys and girls. Wish I could get this autofocus to work a little better. But there is the races. They look fantastic. Left side and right side. Look really good, like there ain't nothing wrong with that. Bearings cleaning off in here, and uh, we'll re, uh, re repack these bearings with uh, grease and put them back together. All right, guys, repack the bearing. We are coasting right now. The rim looks fairly straight. It's a bicycle. <laughs> it's good enough. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm done with uh, repacking. I think this feels good. It's not loose when you wiggle it. Um, just tight enough, just loose enough, just like a bicycle wheel. They're really hard to get exactly right. I cranked it down as hard as it was when I got it, so we should be good. Mmm, uh, time to go eat lunch. Lunch time. Alrighty, so I've uh, managed to get the old tire off and the inner tube out. And, um, eh, the rim looks okay. It's a fraction wobbly in one little spot, but um, it did have a, uh, a liner on it. I took it off. Took the uh, wire wheel that's on the end of the drill right there and kind of cleaned up some of this rust. So let's see if we can get the new tire on without too much damage. <laughs> I only got two inner tubes. I can't poke a hole in them. Okay, I got the the liner on. Um, for some of you who don't know what this is or why it's on here, the spokes behind here come through. You can see the little the little dimples. If you put an inner tube in here, they ride on those dimples, and you will rub a hole in the uh, inner tube. So this just protects uh, the inner tube. That's all it does. But uh, you do need them if you have spoked wheels like this. It's uh, pretty smart to have them because, quite frankly, if you don't, you could pop a tire internally while you're cruising. That could be bad. The old one actually looked really good. Um, I replaced it anyway because I had them. But honestly, this one's not uh, too bad. Yeah, definitely going to put new ones on them. I got them. I'm going to use them. Ooh, white walls. So the tires look a little wobbly because of the rim, but the wobble matches the rim, so they're on their square. 
see the little bit of wobble that's actually the rim so I'll just leave it the white wall portion of this tire and I knew this when I bought them is not perfect it looks terrible to be honest if I slow it down you can see how bad the white wall roundness is but if you look at the actual tire line here it looks really good so that went on very easy it was hard to get the other tire off versus getting this one on this one slipped on great very sticky they're very rubbery that's good that looks awesome <laughs> I really like the way the spoke wheel looks with the wire the wire wheel looks with the white walls alright so we'll put the rest of this together and put it back on the bike I think I do the rear tire yet uh, luckily the rear tire bearing is a uh, sealed type bearing so I don't have to mess with it and I already checked it and it's good okay woo woo pretty hot today boys and girls but I'll still wear my hat so I told you during the middle of this video a box is going to come in today and here it is this is the box let's open it and find out what's in here I'm excited about this one I have one last upgrade to do this bike and this is supposed to be it oh yeah check it out Da, da, da. What is this? This is a gasket for the gearbox. What do you think's in here? That's right. I have myself a set of racing gears. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with the hat. Sweat it all over it. I like my hats, but when it's hot, I'm done with those for a moment. I have my bald spot. Yeah, so let's finish the tires and then we'll put this puppy in. Because we're going to have the rear end out anyway, so that's why I wanted to do it now. But I had to wait for it. It just came today. Woot woot! Alright guys. I officially have successfully installed one. Rebuilt the bearings. Check the brakes. All is well. Man, I like the way those white walls look. They make that black stand out. Because uh, I just really like the way that looks. The black, black on black on black is kind of ugly, but then white walls shine. Let's do the back one. And we begin the back tire. This one will be a little bit more tricky because of all the gears and stuff, but I have a brake problem. Um, I can kind of show you, but I sort of fixed it. This is This arm lever is loose this way. And it locks the brakes up occasionally, not to where it skids the tire, but you can tell that it's not right. So I took some fishing string, and I wrapped it around here just to create a bushing so that it held it tight. But I'm going to undo all this and attempt to see if I can fix it any which way. Because unfortunately that really screws things up. The front was a little loose, I fixed it by tightening it, but this one isn't adjustable. So, we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, so, you see this fishing string? Alright, the reason I did the fishing string, and I wrapped it right between these two points right here, is because this, can you see that? It's loose. And the lock, the brakes have to be so close that they, they tend to lock up. So, my option is to actually beat this down some more and hold this in the vise so that they uh, so that they get tight so I'm gonna try that see that look at that it's terrible so my option was to wrap it in there and create a bushing which worked really really well but I'd like to just fix it instead of kind of sort of make it kind of make it work <laughs> so we'll see what I can do okay guys so I did indeed rewrap the fishing string around there um, and this is going to be hard to do one handed again, but you can see if I hold it. I'm trying to move that and the whole plate's moving, so that tells me that it's tight. So that's just, uh, you know, high tension, uh, I'm not sure what it's made out of, fishing string, but it's high tension, really hard stuff, and I wanted to make a shim small enough to fit in between that tiny little bitty gap right there, so, um, you know, the best option was to uh, use something like this and this actually works extremely well 
So if you ever get in the bind or you need a shim, like a nylon washer, in between something, grab some fishing string and wrap it around there and you're done. Unfortunately, it's dumb how this is made. You can't get it apart, you can't adjust it, you can't do nothing. It's just junk if it's broke. Alright, put the rest of this thing together. Alright, tire done. Gearbox working. And um, it looks good, and we're going to install it and be done with this job. Clean my crap up. I got other stuff to do today. I spent all day on this. It's all good, though. These tires are sweet. Gearbox is up. Another ratio. I'm liking it. Well, guys, the Hobbit has white walls. I did take some pictures before and after. And I will take a couple more in the morning when I took it so the sunlight is the same. Like, I'll be honest, that looks so awesome. I didn't know how it looked with solid black. I think uh, maybe paint a few things would be cool, but I'm not going to do that probably. Um, but I had to get new tires, so why wouldn't I not get, you know, white wall tires when you think about it? It looks so awesome. I'm using the iPad so it's really close. I don't even think I can hold it away far enough to really talk. So that's it guys. Peace and love to you all. I did not add gear oil to the gearbox yet. Um, so I can't actually go test it right now. I gotta go get some oil. But holy smokes, that looks awesome. Peace and love to you all. Thanks for watching. Um, RWG Research and uh, .com. Go check it out. Some more fun stuff there. I have not posted the Hobbit videos there yet, so I need to do that. So anyway, <laughs> I love it. Let's go for a test ride. No, 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 you don't know what you want. Luigi, know what you want.